In a world where reality shows feel scripted or at times disconnected from reality, this cast feels so genuine and real. And before we get all mopey and sad and we start crying, I did wanted to ask you guys to not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's just get to it. Today we are going to be covering the finale of A Thousand Pound Sisters. The episode name is Sunflower. And of course that's a reference to Caleb calling Tammy Sunflower. Last episode we had the huge fight that literally just... It was insane. It showed us such a different side from Amy. Her <laughs> hey, stop! She put her hands on me! And now... Three days after they got back from the Florida trip, Amy is sharing with Tammy that she doesn't know what happened to her. She doesn't know how she got there. She doesn't know why she was so uncontrollable. And not only that, but she also shares with us and with Tammy that she has been going to therapy. I know it's only been three days, but the fact that she actually took the step forward to see a therapist and didn't just forget about the situation, I think is the most important part at the moment. Now that I'm seeing a therapist, hopefully I can learn to process stuff a little bit better. She also tells Sammy that she wants to meet the family. She wants to talk to Amanda. She wants to talk to Chris. She wants to apologize. Amy also shares with us that because of all the things happening recently, the divorce, being a single mom, having to deal with all of this, and just knowing that her relationship wasn't good with Michael, it just bottled up and all of it came out. She's not this person. She never wanted to show this side. Tammy tells her, you blacked out. You completely blacked out, which I could see a point that she did black out. But at the same time, as an adult, you should be able to understand where you're going and what you're doing and bring yourself down if you see that it's getting out of control. Right after they have this conversation, we get the change in music and we find out that Tammy was talking to her cousin and then she got a message from a friend of Caleb in the facility. From his friend Dan from the rehab. And it said, Caleb's not responsive. And no pulse. And then, Later on, the facility calls Tammy and tells her that Caleb passed away from a heart attack. They said that he was working out and that he had a heart attack. But everything is up in the air until I get the autopsy back. So Caleb Willingham did pass away on June 30, 2023, at 2 56 p.m. And Tammy is telling us that this is way too hard for her like she's in the couch thinking about how she lost her best friend she just lost someone that she really really loves and she's trying to just comprehend what happened like how did we get here and i do know that us as viewers are seeing why we got here and how we got here but to tammy this is something that she has to learn how to deal with it. She has to learn how to get through it. So it was incredibly hard to watch Tammy just tell us what happened, tell us how she went through it, and talking about how much she loves this man. And then we cut to Chris and Amanda talking about what happened and just saying that they wouldn't even wish this upon their enemies because this is such a hard thing to deal with. I think the part that hit me the most was when Chris said, being a widow at 36, that's something that just don't set right with the soul. It's such a wild thing to think about. Like, just imagine your partner passing away in a couple years and you having to live this life that you thought you were going to live with them all by yourself now. I'm not mentally prepared to hash out what happened in Florida. I'm just here to make sure that Tammy is okay. Even though they are very worried about Tammy and how she's going to deal with it. And they're also thankful to the fact that Amy is going to be with her. They are also nervous because they haven't seen Amy since the last episode, which was the fight and all the craziness. Now, as they're arriving at the house, they brought some casserole so they can give it to Tammy. What the heck? 
<laughs> we got you some Cassie Rose, girl. I know that sometimes we see the worst in them, but I think one of the best qualities that they have is that they stick together. And every time something happens, traumatic or sad, they are there for each other. And that's exactly what they're doing right now. So when they arrive there, they sit down, they ask Tammy how she's doing. So how you doing? I'm making it. One moment at a time. Amanda was actually hoping that Amy was not going to bring up what happened, but she does. That was the scariest thing I've ever done. I've never hit one of y'all. Not first. Not first. <laughs> well, I, mean, I do feel like she shouldn't have brought it up, but I could understand why she did because they don't want any drama or any tension to be there, especially for the funeral or the ceremony, whatever it is that they're going to do. So I could see that why that's the case. And Amanda just tells her, you know, I'm over it. Like, I don't want to talk about this. This is something that I just want to let go. So can we just let it go? Amanda says, I do have a question for you. Bitch, don't you know how to throw hands? You, you damn, you tried to bite me. <laughs> like you was Gage. I honestly didn't catch that last episode. I did not see Amy trying to bite Amanda. But Amy, come on. Seriously, you try to bite Amanda. If you're going to, if you were going to fight her, you should have at least done it the right way, like Amanda said. One of the other subjects that comes up when they're sitting at the table is that Tammy has to go get all the things to Ohio from the facility that belonged to Caleb. And not only that, but we never talked about if he wanted to be cremated or buried or what. Because blame them for not doing this because this is something that you don't expect to happen so soon however it is a reminder to have those uncomfortable conversations with your partner i'm going to talk to his family about it i want to respect them too so i thought that was very sweet of tammy to want to do that and not just make the decision herself like one minute you're thankful for the time you had the next minute you're mad at the person because they left too soon i know i have never experienced grief to the degree that some people have but i could only imagine how horrible it is to have to go through the stages of grief i'm just hoping that when she feels like she can't go no more she will because she has to keep moving forward amanda of course she's thinking about this that that tammy might feel all of these emotions and tammy did share with us earlier I feel like if i didn't leave he wouldn't be better off it's like that i'm pretty sure that tammy is not gonna watch this video but i do want her to know that this is not her fault this is not your fault you were not a fault for losing caleb it was not on you to make him lose the weight it was not on you that he passed away so yeah definitely emotions that are good to have and that she needs to get through so she can completely grieve the loss of her husband after this amy steps out she's recording herself because she wants to let everyone know that she got a very important mail today and what is that you might ask she got the divorce papers even though the divorce was shorter than expected like less than like six months i'm glad that it was smooth one other thing is that they went 70 30 so she got 70 percent of custody michael got 30 percent, and she also tells us you know that she is getting therapy this was something that she was against for a really long time since she was little but she knows that this is the best thing for her and her kids which yes i am pretty sure that this is the time after she went to therapy that she got diagnosed with bipolar disorder amy single bitches but she ain't ready to mingle one week later after she found out about caleb passing away now she got back from the facility and she has decided to cremate caleb she also brought a box with her of all the things that caleb had and while she's talking to amy <laughs> amy says this scatter your ashes sprinkle it oh it's a special urn oh so you could shake it like a salt shaker oh. so as she starts pulling out all this stuff this was pretty emotional honestly like i actually did cry a lot i just don't really want to cry right now so she pulls out one of the things from the box and here in this bag she finds the slot to tammy her spirit animal is a slot and 
Caleb knew this and he used to get her a lot of little gifts to just remind her that he was thinking about her. <laughs> and starts crying, just thinking about it. Just, yeah. Now we are getting ready for the memorial. Misty meets up with Amanda because they're making sure that everything is set up so Tammy doesn't have to worry about anything. And here we find out that Misty is wearing a new dress because she lost 53 pounds. Yes, since the surgery, she lost 53 pounds. I feel great, you know, and I'm hoping by this time next year, I can, you know, be down to 150. And Amanda has also lost weight. Yeah, I started out at like 300 a couple days before surgery, and I'm down to 265. She wants to get to 220, understanding that she is very tall. And as Amanda says, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thick in all the right places, okay? Amanda, she was in charge of getting butterflies because Tammy had mentioned that she wanted to do this for Caleb as a sign of like, you know, you're letting it go. He's going up to the sky to God and all these things. And at first I was wondering if the butterflies were real. And it turns out that they are. So they freeze the butterflies and then you have to unfreeze them for a certain amount of time before you let them go and then you let them go. So let's see how that works out later. Back at the house, Amy is asking Tammy how she's feeling because, you know, the memorial is going to be today. And she tells her that she's numb and she doesn't really know how to feel. She's sick to the stomach. But Amy has a solution. Just know when you have your bad moment, you're going to look over and you're going to see me. Then I'm going to fart and make you laugh. On their way to the memorial, Tammy says to Chris that this feels worse than when her grandma died. This is a different type of pain. This is above losing your grandma and losing your grandpa. So as they're getting to the place, the moment that Tammy steps into the area where they're going to do the memorial, she starts breaking down. And I started breaking down too. I was actually taking notes and I stopped taking notes the moment that the memorial started. So as she gets there, Billy goes up to her, which is the same person that officiated their wedding nine months ago. And he tells us how wild it is that only nine months ago he was officiating their wedding and now he's at Caleb's funeral. Like that is so wild to me, to him, to everyone watching this, I would think. Now, Tammy sits down, people start getting there, and she's just hugging everyone. And then she tells us that she invited all her friends. She also invited Caleb's family, but unfortunately, they weren't able to make it. But two of Caleb's best friends or friends were able to be there. As soon as the memorial started, I broke down because it immediately hit me. Everything that's going on. Rob comes up and he says that him and Caleb were really good friends. They used to spend a lot of time together. They used to make music together. And then he goes, if you guys don't mind, I would love to share a song that we make together. And then he plays this rap song in, at the memorial. And it's time to make it, even though they hate it. I always felt like I was underrated, unappreciated. What I'm just supposed to take. I just couldn't contain myself and I started crying again because then they play the footage and they play things that just drive me up the wall because I can't. I'm very emotional, very emotional. So when things like this happen, I start crying. There was a part where Tammy was like, he couldn't sing, <laughs> but he could rap. Tammy has changed so much. It's just trying to find light on this horrible situation and just being able to do this is is amazing and if we thought that we weren't going to cry anymore well surprise because now it's chris's turn to go up and say some words and what does he decide to do and this son of a bitch comes out he decides to read the poem that caleb made for tammy in the first episodes remember that poem called sunflower 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 god planted you as a seed in a field full of many, but you he meant for me. Sunflower, sunflower. 
Well, now it hits way more because he passed away. So when he reads it, everyone starts crying. I started crying. I'm even getting emotional right now because to Tammy, this was such an important thing. And, and now he's reading it and she's feeling all that love again that she's not going to get to have anymore. So I'll bring it in. <laughs> I'll get around you. Come on. <laughs> She says that as soon as Chris said the word sunflower, sunflower, she just couldn't contain herself. And, you know, she started crying. Now she shares that, you know, they had so many dreams together. They wanted to grow old together. They wanted to watch the sunsets together. They want to have kids together. And now those things are out of the question because he is not there anymore. And then they do the butterfly thing. <laughs> this is... This is one of the reasons why I love this show so much. It is so real. It is so genuine. Like there's, it doesn't feel scripted at all. Three. Oh man. Oh, oh man. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. I was a little nervous because I thought that they, they were kind of dead for a second, but then my husband brought up the fact that like, you know, they were frozen. So it had to like unfreeze, I guess, and then fly away. So that makes a lot of sense to find a way. After two months, now Tammy wants to go ahead. She made a lantern and she wants to let it go into the sky because we can all hope for Tammy to be okay after this. And we're just wishing her the best. I'm wishing her the best. And... As they're going on their way, she's also telling us how, like, how far she has come as a person. You know, she used to weigh over 700 pounds. She used to make fart noises with her trach. She wasn't able to walk. And she has come such a long way to be able to walk, to be able to go to the beach, to be able to fly. Like, so many things that she has accomplished as a person. So... I fell in love with Caleb. I've never felt this way about anybody. Got married to Caleb, got out of rehab, and I lost my husband. We can only hope that she just keeps going from here. And I mean, I do follow her on Instagram, so you can actually see that she hasn't backtracked. She's only going forward over and over again, losing more weight, getting healthier being more active, trying new things out there in the world. So very thankful for that. And then when they get to the place to release the lantern, this is actually one of those places that is very special to this Leighton family, because I guess this is where they used to go swim and spend a lot of time together as kids. As they're lighting up the thing, they keep struggling so much. And I actually thought that Chris was going to get down and help them. But no, he was sitting there the entire time. He was just like, let them deal with it. They'll figure it out. They'll be fine. You know, they're going to do it sometime. But boy, they taking their sweet time on getting it done. And eventually they did. One, two, three. No. Tammy said, it's a symbol that I love you. I'll miss you. But I'll be okay without you. You know, things will be fine. I will be okay. Did you guys also notice that she was wearing a yellow shirt and she was wearing a sunflower bandana on her head? I'm gonna keep driving, I'm gonna keep, keep being box, box. That's the end of this season. As sad as it is to me, cause I really, really love and enjoy this show. Hell, maybe she could be a burlesque dancer. Hell, I don't know. Maybe we'll get another season, but I don't know. I would love to see Tammy continuing with her life and just being happy in general. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Cut him a bitch!